Welcome to the Functional Living Podcast, featuring your hosts, Dr. Jeff Cumro. You can't live a 3 out of 10 on the lifestyle scale and expect to have a 10 out of 10 on health. It just doesn't work that way. And Dr. Jared Leon. We want you to live at a higher quality of life, thereby having a better everyday existence. Functional Living is the show that is dedicated to your higher quality of life. These are tried and true solutions from two nationally acclaimed health and wellness experts. Our goal in this journey is quite simple, is to give our listeners a small understanding of what we've done and what we see every single day to better patient lives. Learn how you can live a higher quality of life today. You're going to be much happier. You're going to be much healthier. And now, introducing your hosts, Dr. Jeff Cumro and Dr. Jared Leon. Good afternoon, Dr. Jeff. This is Dr. Jared over here. How are you doing today, buddy? Hey, Dr. Jared. Everything's going good on my end. How about yours? All good, all good. Super excited to start this amazing journey together. I really, one, want to thank you for your time and energy and for the potential listeners. Man, are you in store for some high energy, two impacting guys who are going to rock your world. I'm looking forward to it as well. I think this is going to be a really great combination for everybody involved. Perfect. How often can we say that a chiropractor from New York and a chiropractor from Nebraska get together and make something happen, huh? <laughs> yeah, there, there's more there's more chiropractors in your neighborhood than there are in my state, so that's. <laughs> <laughs> I would believe that, man. The good news is I don't know if I can find your state. It's the funny part. <laughs> So what we're really here today is to talk about functional living, and our goal in this journey um, is quite simple, is to give our listeners a small understanding of what we've done and what we see every single day to better patient lives. We want you to live at a higher quality of life, thereby having a better everyday existence. What do you think of that, Dr. Jeff? I mean, that's, that's really what it all comes down to, is you can't live a 3 out of 10 on the lifestyle scale and expect to have a 10 out of 10 on health. It just doesn't work that way. That's exactly the truth. So with that being said, what I think we should do today is actually strategize and figure a way that we can very easily or try to make it easy, explain to the listeners some amazing things we've seen in practice to get the most out of life every day. I think that sounds like a great idea. Good, good. So I'm glad you agree. So why don't we start with the real basics, okay? So one of the basic things we hear every day, everyone knows this, that's what we're going to call it basic, and then we're going to build into different, almost like martial art belt systems that will get harder and harder as we go forward. But a basic, if we said, what's something really basic that you need to live a healthy life, what would be one thing you hear every day from your patients that they already know, but they probably aren't doing it as well as they should? So what would that be, you think, Dr. Jeff? Nutrition is one of the biggest questions I get asked every day. Me as well. So that's a good one. We're going we're gonna to harp on that in a minute. So why don't we bang out a few more of the most common, and then we'll try to hone down for our listeners. How does that sound? That sounds great. Good. Another one we love to do or love to talk about is, Doc, I don't think I sleep enough. And, and you know that's probably not true, right? You know they're definitely not sleeping enough or you know <laughs> it's definitely true and they definitely don't sleep enough. But um, the reality is sleep. We'll get into more about sleep, but that's another big one. What's another one you hear every day? Exercise. Perfect. How many people raise their hand and that would be I? We know that exercise is good. But how many do that? So we're going to get into that in a few minutes as well. That's another good one. What about this one? This is a little bit of a tricky one, but the truth is it's all there. So what about – Doc, I don't think I think good thoughts every day where they come in and they always have this uh, doom and gloom personality. And then you meet somebody who really turns the lights on when you see them and they're just powerful and always happy. What do you think of those people? I mean, those people are awesome. Those are the most fun people to work with. I mean, it, it brightens up your day. It, they get healthy faster. It's awesome. Exactly. And all we're going to say is we'll call that a proper mental attitude, which we'll get uh, – we'll go a little more in-depth in a few minutes. So what would be the last thing? Or maybe there's a few more. Um, what else do you see in success every day with your patients who are really doing well? Well, one of the things that I see is you know, the, the ones that are under chiropractic care – do better than everybody else. You, you know, <laughs> now funny we're both chiropractic, they're going to think that's coming, but the truth <laughs> is, isn't that true? It is. Now, there was a study done years ago, and we can actually get this study for our listeners if they want it, that every decade of the chiropractic care, there's a high probability they lower disease states, and that's all diseases. So that means every 10 years on the chiropractic care, when the brain 
spinal cord connection is optimal, those patients seem to have less diseases. It's have you heard of that? It's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. So we don't want to go too deep into that just yet. Is we're I know I know listeners were just getting on the surface, touching the surface of this stuff, and it's done in principle. Okay, what we're going to be doing hopefully is in the next few modules with you is we're going to break down what we call the five pillars of health, and we're going to review that in a moment. And then each segment, what we're really hoping to do is to get deeper, really dive into each one of these pillars to really allow patients or listeners, or both hopefully, to experience a higher quality of living. So before we do that, Jeff, do you have anything you want to talk about real quick? I, I think you're doing a really good job of breaking this down. I'm going to let you close this one out, and let's dive into each one of these a little bit deeper. Perfect. So why don't we just, in summation, it's always about the summary at the end of the game, right? Why don't we talk about what are the five pillars? And we just said them, but let's make it pretty concise and pretty easy. So I'll lead off and we'll start. We're going to call it the proper mental attitude could be number one. Number two, go ahead, Dr. Jeff. I mean, I mean, nutrition is one of the most important things. If you don't have, if you don't have those things to build up your body, you're really going to struggle to get healthy. Perfect. So we're going to call that proper nutrition. Why don't we call the third one proper nervous system? So we'll call it having a proper nervous system, meaning brain and spinal cord connectivity, and we'll discuss that in the future. Like so number four then would be what? Let's, let's put sleep in there because, you know, if you don't rest, then, you know, it doesn't take long. You burn out and things start falling apart. Perfect. Love it. So we'll call that one proper rest and relaxation. And the last one is proper exercise. So those five, of course, are in real general terms because say you're a listener and you like doing yoga. Amazing. We would say great job, but that's probably under exercise. If you're saying like you go to church, I would say great. That's probably that could be listed under a few of them. If you like to go to a temple, that could be under proper mental attitude to get your state right. So no matter what you do in your life that's really been successful, we can really take it and put it into these one of these five pillars. So our goal is to continue this in our next episode so that the journey will continue, but it's going to get a lot deeper, a lot of more fun, and a whole bunch more exciting stuff. So what I recommend to listeners, hold on, enjoy yourself on this ride. Grab a notepad. You're probably going to want to hear and take some notes from me and Dr. Jeff here. And I'm going to say it's been a pleasure and thank you and have a wonderful time for the day, night, or evening whenever you're listening to us. And Dr. Jeff's going to close us out real quick. Good, buddy. You know, I want to say one thing real important here is don't be shy. Share this with your friends and family. It's very, very important information. There are a lot of sick people out there. And unless we get the word out, it's not going to change. We have to be the ones to take initiative on that. And sharing this information with others is going to be important for that to happen. You've been listening to the Functional Living Podcast with Dr. Jeff Cumro and Dr. Jared Leon. If this podcast helped you find the path to your higher quality of life, be sure to subscribe and leave us a rating or review.